And another wildfire we've been following came close to taking out the city of Carpio last night. The fire has since been completely put out, but today reporter Malik Wilson met with Carpio residents who are showing their appreciation to those who helped save their community. So we just started getting emergency alerts on our phones. Um, text messages were coming in from friends and family. Around 2 p.m. Friday, officials told the city of Carpio to evacuate due to a large grass fire that officials say may have been caused by a power line. You just gather your things and get out as fast as you can. Sarah Felipe is a Carpio resident and the owner of Z-Bar. She says the thought of losing both her home and business in a matter of minutes was terrifying to say the least. Um, you know, if things happened differently than they, you know, did, it could have, you know, taken the whole town. Law enforcement agencies, EMTs, and other surrounding departments pitched in to help, saving the small community from disaster. Now, the community is returning the favor. We're just going to do uh, donate a dollar for every um, drink sold from yesterday and today, and just to show a small token of appreciation. She says the money would be donated to the Carpio Fire Department. It's not a huge way, but it's the only way that, you know, it's a completely volunteer fire department here in Carpio, and people had to drop what they were doing to respond. Other Carpio residents like Timothy Metcalf and Ashley Larson both pitched in during the heat of the moment. The Cinex here, and my boss who actually runs the Cinex, Andy, he told me like any EMTs, firefighters, police officers that come in, you know, give them what they want. It's, it's all on the house. My mom and... Um, her boyfriend, Ron, owned Rustic Ronnie's in Mohal, and they made a bunch of wings and um, had me bring them down. It was like 60 to 80 wings, and they all sat at the fire hall afterwards and just kind of chowed down and talked about what happened. What happened is they saved a community that's near and dear to many. It's hard to even put into words like how amazing it was to just see like the surrounding areas come together and work so diligently to get the fires put out. Reporting for KX News in Carpio, Malik Wilson. Philippex says she's raised over $200 so far and plans to donate all the money sometime this week.